Hey guys, what's up? It's Jenny. Doesn't this look so weird when I talk? But today is the last day. It is Halloween. This is the end of 31 days of Halloween. I hope you guys have enjoyed this crazy ride of 31 videos in one month. Insane. The hardest thing I've ever done YouTube-wise, definitely, because these weren't just your simple video. Like, I had to sit down and film a complex makeup look that sometimes would take hours, and then I'd go edit for an hour and then upload, and then still try and get my crap done for the rest of the day. So, what I'm trying to say is I'm probably never going to do 31 Days of Halloween again unless I become a full-time YouTuber. It's just so much work. I'm like two weeks behind in school. And if I wasn't doing online school, I wouldn't be able to do this. So, yeah, this has been just so, so much work. And as I'm, like, sleep-deprived, I am school-deprived, and I've just been killing myself to upload these videos. And I just can't do it. Um, I'm going to be taking a week break, at least from YouTube, probably, like, two weeks. I am going to be uploading on Friday because I do have a sponsored video that I do have to upload but after that, you probably won't see my face for a week at least. So if you're really going to miss me, go ahead and just watch the rest of my 31 Days of Halloween videos. If you haven't seen any of them, I did work really hard on them. So if you guys would give them a thumbs up and comment down below, it would just really mean a lot to me. Because then it shows me that all of the work I've been doing really meant something to you guys. Because this was not easy to do. So, yeah, now that I have that little blurb, if you want to see this um, cut a mouth tutorial, then go ahead and keep on watching. But make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you never miss out on a cool video like this one. So, yeah, go ahead and keep on watching. So before we get started, I already have a full face of makeup on. You can wear whatever you want. And then you want to make sure to put your hair up because this is going to get messy and you don't want this stuff in your hair. I'm going to be taking liquid latex from Mayron and some cotton. And I'm going to be laying down a liquid latex above my lip and putting cotton on top of that. And I'm just kind of creating a smile shape. So putting a part of it on my top lip and then the second part a little below my bottom lip. And then you want to go over with another layer of latex right on top of the cotton and make sure you begin to blend out your edges during this step because it'll make the other steps a lot easier. And you can dry your latex faster by using a blow dryer, which is what I did. Then to make it not sticky, you want to set it with some translucent powder. I'm going to be taking this one from Maybelline and just popping that right on top so I have a smooth surface to work on. Now I'm going to be taking some foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match and I'm just going to go on top of all of my latex just so that I have a nice skin tone color and it's not white from the cotton. And at this point, um, I did not have a hole where my mouth would be, but don't worry, we are going to create one. So I'm setting everything with powder again. And now we're gonna make that hole. I'm just gonna take some scissors and being very careful, I'm just going to open my mouth and then just cut along that way until I get kind of a smile shape. And then I pulled up all of the edges so that there was like a gap of skin between that and my actual lips. Well, I guess it's not really skin, it's latex, but then I just kind of trimmed the edges so you could really see that gap. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in everything underneath the latex with black body paint. This is from Wolf. It will just make everything look a lot cooler if you can't see your skin and your lips showing through at the bottom. Because the whole point is that you cut out your lips. Like you cut out a pair of lips for yourself so that you're always smiling. That was like my concept. And now I'm going to be taking red cream makeup from Ben Nye and I'm just going to be applying this all around the latex because this is gonna create a nice base for when we apply fake blood on top. You guys know this is what I always do when working with latex and things where there'd be wounds. And I'm taking a stippling sponge and stippling this red all over the place to give the effect of blood spatter. And then I went in with a deep like purpley black. And then I also in, went in with a little bit of yellow to create like a bruising texture. And now I'm gonna take some fake blood and really apply this over the edges so that it looks very, very bloody there. And then I just spread the blood out around everywhere else. And I am really just kind of putting this on top of all of the colors that we have applied underneath because those colors were just to create dimension to our blood. 
And then I'm also just dripping a few down the sides of my mouth. As I said in yesterday's tutorial, if you have a blood dropper or any kind of dropper, it's gonna be a lot easier to drip your blood. I don't, so I kind of just like um, work with the blood until I can get it to at least look like fake drips. And then I also stippled fake blood on the outer edges as well and applied a bunch more drips of blood to make this look extra gory because if you had carved in your own little mouth, um, it'd be really, really go gory. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk right now. After that, I just pulled up the edges of my latex just a little bit more to dramatize the effect and then filled in everything with black body paint once more and then I took my hair down and that was it for this ripped mouth tutorial it's super easy so I hope you guys had a really happy Halloween and be safe and have fun see you in my next video bye guys So that was it for this video and 31 days of Halloween. I will be uploading a 31 days of Halloween montage video soon. Just like a recap of every look I did. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. But I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.